Hey MTV and welcome to my crib, my humble abode. How are you? Um, this video has been long overdue. I know you're just absolutely on the edge of your seats gagging to see where I spend my time and reside every day. Stay bass is natural habitat. I'm just gonna pretend that I didn't just spend like all day tidying and hoovering and act like this is actually how it looks all the time but I thought it'd be a fun video to do so if you want to see what my realistic rented London bedroom looks like I've tried to make the best of it please keep watching don't forget to like and comment and you you know you know the drill by now babs I'm actually really sad because this morning the sunlight was like glinting just right through those windows and I was like what a beautiful morning what a how good does my room look right now I was like what a great opportunity to film this video and now it's just grey and disgusting and it just looks a bit sad and depressing in here but just pretend it's like you know pretend the sunlight I'll bring the sunlight for you I'll also insert some clips of what it looked like when I first moved here because no disrespect to the landlord and the boys who lived here before but it was crusty like it was probably unlivable like I probably should be more angry about it than I am but I just want you to see the transformation like I have actually tried really hard to, to sort this room out it was like dotty like disgusting walls mold weird furniture like I had to buy all new furniture for this because I was like I can't I work in my room technically so I need it to look good so yeah just keep that in mind like it was unlivable it was squalor squalor um, but that's what you get for running in London <laughs> Right, so you enter, and this is what we have. Ooh, beautiful um, carpet that all rentals have that still shows up dirt, even though I've hoovered it 5,000 times, but okay. So we'll start from this section of the room. I feel like this is the section you will be most familiar with because this is what you see on Instagram. I wanted a big white space that I could just take my photos, and this is it. I kind of, I have the loft room, you'll see. So it's kind of got all these annoying walls. There's not a lot of place for me to put pictures. So that's why I have these down here. This one is kind of like, is it a plant or zebra print? I just really like it. This one is from Decenio. This one I had in the old flat. It's from Poster Lounge. I just love it. It injects a bit of color. I don't know if it looks good just leaning there, but that's what I've done from now. And we also have some crusty pampas grass. That's, I think it's going moldy, but we just leave that there. In this corner, uh, you'll grow to realize a lot of my stuff is crazy and cut cluttered. We have my little Amazon heater, an essential when you're in a loft room and freezing. And I got these really nice boxes from in Brighton. It's like cute little shop in Brighton, but you can also get them in Primark and online. But they've gone to ship because I just kind of shove all my hair appliances in there. We come to my pride and joy. Obviously, you'll remember this from the last tour. It goes everywhere with me. Oh my God, you take my match a lot anyway. It's not as good as the Brickwood one. Brickwood. I think they're only in South London. 10 out of 10 matcha lattes. This lovely pink seat from Darnell. I'm surprised I've managed to keep it tidy because it's like kind of pink suede. But look, it has storage underneath. Oh my god, maybe maybe I could put the fucking hair stuff in there. <gasps> How did I just think of that? I'm a genius. But yeah, I kind of sit here to get ready because I just want to feel like a princess and I love pink and I'm not going to apologize for liking pink. Okay. And this is my makeup table. A lot going on here. So we have like my hair brushes shoved behind here is all my hair stuff. So we've got like the living proof dry shampoo. Got to be like, I have a lot of hair stuff actually. Hair brushes that like essentials that I use every day. And these I've had honestly for years. They're just like acrylics makeup organizers from Amazon. So I keep like foundations, lipsticks, brushes. These are literally plant pots from Ikea. Amazing, right? all in there which is great and then skincare on this little tray this is from spectrum collection so this is just kind of like everyday skincare we've got you know my little elemis overnight thing we've got garnier removal just like your moisturizer your serums everything you need daily the drawers is where it gets a bit crazy <sighs> I wish this organization expanded to my drawers, but yeah, this is like lipsticks. I have honestly a stupid amount of the MAC liquid lipsticks. It's just carnage, but I do like use them quite a lot. In here is miscellaneous. I've got a mask, a Charlotte Tilbury wand, some hair clips, my bronzers and concealers. Like it is pretty much, I wanted this table to just be filled with things I use every day. And then I have my, is it Ricky? My Ricky mirror. Ah, oh, so it like turns on. Oh, oh my god, I didn't realise that was magnifying. 
that is horrific but yeah you can do this put your phone in it and that's how i do my talking stories so or instagram lives so it's quite fun and it's a ring light but you can also pull it off and it's just a mirror cute and then i have a lovely view of the london rooftops and it's quite good because not many people can see me like getting changed here whereas in my last house a lot of people were like could see me and like these builders would always catch me in my underwear there is one house like down there i'm pretty sure they keep catching me while they're doing their like washing up like there's one in there right now and i think they're looking at me talking to the camera but whatever but it's just one house i have to deal with if they have to see me naked it's probably not the weirdest thing they're gonna see that day then down here i have this little basket from misguided you know it came in a pack of free but i kind of just use it as a bin does it look okay as a bin this area is pretty cluttered then this is like the crazy area because i wanted to make use of this space because it's like kind of slanted so i got these drawers it took me like three three hours to put them up and they're already broken so i do like this is stuff i don't use as often so i have like i do have a lot of crap like foundations and things in there then the middle one is nail varnishes and eye products i believe like gems like things i'll only need if i'm doing a creative look and then the bottom is all my palettes i have so many palettes i've banned myself from buying palettes like look they're all anastasia beverly hills i have all the naked palettes but yeah I reach for that daily but at least they're all compact i have two makeup boxes with things i barely touch um some like hair extensions here is like tan and body cream so we have like the body shop body cream we have like my sienna tan saint moritz like a bit of everything so that just all gets tucked away there oh out of breath just walking around my room like am i actually all right this hoodie is so cute oh my god i've lost an earring I've lost an earring. Where the fucking hell is? Oh, it's, it's fucking down there. God, earrings back in. I was about to start on some woman. Hold me earrings. Right, this hoodie is a fucking vibe. It's from CED Studio. It's her own small business. She makes these hoodies. I think this colour is just sexy. I love it. But yeah, this is what you'll see on Instagram too. Um, this is where I do like my try on hauls. This mirror, Hovit mirror from Ikea does meet it does the most it does the most you need it in your life because like you can just do full outfit photos my housemates always come up here to come see come see it you know so this is my pride and joy i'm surprised it just about fit it's like over six foot something my old house balum we had like really high ceilings we don't have that as much here but luckily it fit you know the uh furniture gods were looking down on me okay now we go to this is where i try to be like look you will judge me for my like styling interior design i'm not an interior designer i just like girl Ooh, uh, i just like girly things <laughs> i just like girly things i like pink and do you know what i'm not apologizing for it anymore so yeah you can judge me it's messy but it's my mess and i love it so yeah i'm not apologizing but if you have any suggestions of how i can make the space better constructive criticism i will take right so again these drawers drawers these this shelf is also from ikea i had one in my first ever flat in london and it just does the bits like it's so good if you have loads of shoes and bags also you could style it with like pampas grass but i like put my things i like out on display on here so and also i think it genuinely is like 30 pound i will link everything so i have my Giacomo bag which is like my pride and joy Balenciaga trainers again my first ever designer item my shoes because i'm trying to be a sneaker girl um just bags designer bags that i'm trying to use more and display because i think they're pretty and pretty things deserve to be out mark jacobs um and these are like my other night trainers my converses and my tripods there and these are like my little fake yeezys and my slippers that i just need to pop on you know to take the bins out so i i mean i think it's good for my standards that is good but you let me know what you think <laughs> and again i thought this was proper like the height of interior design so these are like my little cute candles if i can remember where everything's from i will link it but i've got like a little shell one we've got the classic body one i think my friend courtney got me this these little bubble ones um these pictures where are they from oh so this one my ariana i literally love it so it's from my friend sophie she has a business called five and ninety she does mainly pet portraits but she did this one for me of ariana and it says i get everything i want because i attract it so I, yeah, I really, really love that. I think she goes perfectly. Obviously, she's my idol. And then we have, ooh la la, that was from Postal Lounge last year. Oh, where's this one from? Oh, God. I think that's from Decenio. 
and that's definitely from Desenio. I'll, I'll try and link everything. Um, and then I thought this was nice having the Gucci bag, but apparently it's embarrassing, so let me know. I, I just think it's cute. But whatever. Then again, we have the rail that came from the last house too. I just think it fits perfectly there. Like I have so much crap as you can imagine. I need as much space utilized. To be fair, it is a pretty big room. It's a long room rather than a, a wide room, which is kind of annoying for videos. But um, you know, we can fit a lot, so I'm definitely not complaining. And it's cheaper rent than the last room. Can you believe that? If you saw my old, vi old video, go find it because. This room is definitely better, in my opinion. This is the lovely rail that I got hate about again because everyone was like, Sadia, why do you hang like that? Why would I know how to hang? Do you... I barely know how to survive the day, let alone, do you think I know how to hang? But look, I'm trying to make, I'm trying to make it better for you. Obviously, the Charlotte Simone coat's got to go at the front, but this is the things I, like, I either need to shoot or my newest things that I you know, we'll grab for more. I switch it from summer to winter. So we have like coats, blazers, like my misguided green blazer, my gilet, check coat, things I grab and also just like things I love and want to keep out. So that is how it looks from afar. It is a bit of a jumbled mess. And then yeah, because I wanted to utilize the space under here. We have this basket and this is basically all of my lounge wear. So you'll see I've got like my Playboy misguided stuff. Uh, these little Christmas avocado pajamas that everyone needs and um, this gets out of hand because I have so much loungewear. Okay, we've pretty much done this side of the room So I'm just gonna give you more perspectives because I know you're bloody desperate to see it So this is what I waked up to it rarely looks like this. It's usually a depression pit, but it's fine. Okay This is the other side the side that you don't see a bit white in it a bit too white It is I don't know. I don't even know if it looks good. It's my wardrobe. It was the cheapest wardrobe that I could get that was white that had three parts. Yes, I am that bitch that puts random shit up there, so just don't mind me. My laptop always goes up there. I don't know why. I don't actually know why it goes up there, but it does. Okay, so this door ah, is the actual mess behind the calm, the storm behind the calm exterior. This is where all my underwear goes because I, as you can imagine, I have a lot of underwear. So we have like, you know, like sexy bras will go in here. Then there will be like socks, then pants. Oh, and then more bras. I did used to have normal bras and sexy bras, but they've kind of blurred. And then behind, we have more bags. Oh no, so this is what happens every time. Fucking God. You see like we have like bags behind each one. You know, I'm really making the most of all my space. Yeah, and hats and things like that. I can't even, you can see, I can't even shut it. In here, this is what my wardrobe looks like. It's not that big, but I would love bigger. And then we just won't talk about that. But yeah, this goes just things like blazers, things that will fit nicely into wardrobe, some jumpers, just a bit of everything. There's not really any rhyme and reason to it, but I kind of get what's going on. I don't think anyone else would. Right, that was fun. Let's go on to my drawers. I look, look, I really like this little area, but everyone, no one else likes it. So I'm just gonna move on, but these pictures, I really, obviously, I love underwear so much, so I love this from Desenio. I think it looks super classy. And then, of course, my Audrey photo. I've had it for so long. I just love her. I do have a Marilyn one, but sadly, Audrey just, she just won. She won the battle to be in my room. So, we need to talk about the phone. We need to talk about this phone. This is literally a kid's phone. Why does it say, girl, will I miss you? Hello. Hello. Help me, I am under the water. Like, what actually... I just like it. It gives me retro vibes. And then these I thought were super, super, super cute. I got these from Next. There was a pack of three. And then I got the candles from Tiger. Fun fact, I literally kept breaking them. I bought them and then by the time I got home they would break. So yeah, be really careful with these. But just what's colourful. And then these little books, um, they were a pack of four from Amazon. I just think they're really cute and classy. And then I have little Polaroids. Me and Meg, me and Courtney. This one from the misguided event of me and Carly. I only met her once and I've got a picture of her in my room. Is that creepy? She probably would find that creepy. We'll just tuck that under there. And then, I mean, it probably would be either that or that, not both, but I want it. So, my Polaroid. Love it. Um, this is my little to-do list. So, you know, today it's a lot, lots going on. Room tour. <laughs> Whereas we had a busy day Wednesday. Tomorrow, oh, we're going for a walk. You know, I do lead a busy life. I also have this vagina book. I literally, Vulva Diversity, I live for it. It's so funny. It's such a nice coffee table book too. Then I have all my perfumes. Um, we have like Black Opium. We have the Michael Kors Hey Gorgeous. These ones from So, which you can mix and match. They smell incredible and they're so cheap. God is a woman. 
this thing oh and it's all on a gold tray this thing is so cool it's from neome neome it's a girl in bristol it's her small business a donut vase and some pink pampas grass i just really like that it's so nice so yeah that's this corner now these drawers we need to talk about it i can't deal with it so we have like tops oh i can't jumpers jeans and then i don't even want to know what's in there i don't want to know i can't handle it please i can't right now let's get over to the bed oh like no matter what i do this bed never looks tidy i swear to god so literally our landlord he just has the cheapest duvan beds i don't know if anyone else has lives in a rented property and it is just like the cheapest beds they can get so with all the other furniture i was like happy to buy it but the bed i was like i could just get a mattress topper so i bought a mattress topper and it is okay obviously i would prefer it to be bigger but it's not like anyone's sleeping in my bed with me anyway and i'd prefer a headboard i could just buy one but do you know what it doesn't bother me like that was everything else in my room bothered me so much if you see the before photos but um this was kind of like Meh, it's fine. I love this duvet set from Skinny Dip. I also really want the blue one. I just think it's so cute and girly. As you can see, I've got a thing for butterflies. Like, I legit have a tattoo of it. I don't know about the shell pillows, but they're here now. So, two shell pillows. They're from Amazon. There's loads of colours. The fluffy one is Don Elm. They are also Don Elm. Um, and this ratty thing, I don't know where it's from. <laughs> Honestly, why can't I just be a normal aesthetic girl? Then, I don't know, do you guys have teddies out? I have this Squiggles, um, which an ex bought me. Paul, which also an ex bought me. Do people keep teddies that they export them? Like, I like them, they're mine, so I'm keeping them. And Hedwig, which I got recently, which my mum bought me for Christmas. So, yeah, these are my teddies. If any boys come around, that's what they'll see. And then my side table, also hot girls have uh, messy wires everywhere. There's not many plugs in this room, so I needed to do like a little loop-ty loop of the thing, but it's all good, it's all good. Okay, so this is a hot girl side table. We have this really cute picture that um, my friend Alice got me of my birth chart. I mean, you're not meant to give your birth chart information out. Uh, ah, ah, don't look, don't look, but yeah, that's my birth chart. If you wanna know, I'm a Pisces sun. Obviously I talk about it in every video. Capricorn rising so that's why I've been finding Capricorn season surprisingly good I feel like I'm in my productive energy whereas I feel like a lot of people in stories hate are hating it right now but I'm, I'm liking it I'm, I'm loving Capricorn vibes hard worker and then I have a an Aries moon which is why I am crazy uh so yeah that's we just move on take from that what you will i've got a good mix of earth water and fire and that is very conflicting energy to have vitamins that i take every day the hair burst ah ah hair burst ones these chewable um vitamin c ones i just get from home back stop me getting sick but also um i have vitamin d for the winter months i love you can't really see because it's covered with my crystals and like oh, fucking shit from my sage this little shell tray i just think so gorgeous this is from amazon to put on my crystals so i got this little sage thing to like you know whenever i just get everyone's negative vibes out of my room i love it i pretend i'm a witch so these are some crystal haul um we have loads of clear quartz clear quartz is just a classic it amplifies whatever crystals uh, in there i probably should take some of these out because citrine is for when you're working on your goals so it shouldn't be out when you're sleeping that's probably why i haven't been sleeping very well so i should only get it out in the day and i always have my adventurine on in the day for like financial success but rose quartz is the best one to have in your bedroom because it's like self-love um just like yeah, love, care, um, calmness. I also have a carnelian, which is good if you, for sexual energy. So if you're in a relationship, carnelian is good for like boosting your sex life. Obviously, like I don't really need that right now, but I mean, I don't mind. <laughs> and then yeah, so that all goes on there. And then we have my candles. They're all a bit burnt. This is from Oliver Bonus. This was a present from my old manager. Feed me pizza and tell me I'm pretty. I haven't lit that one yet, but... Oh, it smells so sexual. Neon, oh my god. This one is so good. It's, it's expensive, but good. I think this was also a present. Um, it is de-stress, so I put that on. And light, and they're on these little thingies. Um, and then I also have another tray. I'm just gonna... This is my jewellery. This is a little Pisces tray. See, I'm such a cliche for a Pisces. And this has all my jewellery on. This is all my gold jewellery, and then I put my silver jewellery somewhere else. But this is like sort of everyday jewellery, like if I want my bad bitch hoops, if I want my big hoops, um, like my yin yang ring, playboy necklace, pearl necklace, so things I use all the time. Then this, oh, I fucking love it. It's a mirror, yeah? You're like, why did you have a mirror on a side table? No, it's a light and a ring light. And, look. 
can't put it on. It's, a, it's, it's my speaker, so I put my podcast. Oh, I just obsess of it. I love it so much. Okay, we're nearly done. Oh, and what do I have in my drawers? You will notice my drawer is a little bit too high. I forgot to get the one with two, but I kind of like it that it's high. So, uh, this is just where I keep, like, my... <sighs> wow, I have, like, loads of vibrators in here. But <laughs> this is why you never open a girl's table, okay? So, I've got, like, phone cases. I've got, like, vitamins. I've got, like, a light for my candles, camera stuff, and vibrators, so, like and my retainers, hot girl shit. This is where I keep all my notepads and like journals and my book. So obviously another Pisces one. I also have Ariana Grande one that my bestie just bought me. Um, what am I reading at the moment? Love and Limerence and The Art of Seduction. You can see why it's so full because I love books and I always need them near me. The third one is more hair stuff. So like my heatless hair color clips, my hair bow and extensions. It's a bit of a, oh! crazy mess in there finally i have like harry potter cupboards but i don't really want to show you because oh god they're so good for storage but like they're crazy look oh i also have a skylight so i can see out and you know it's good i can open it if it gets hot i'll kind of show you the it's just we don't open them there's a lot going on in that i need to sort it out i just wanted to show you some like other pieces of artwork i have and if you have any ideas of where i could put it like oh my god so this was done by art uh, by sj you need to follow her on instagram she's incredible she does these beautiful naked paintings sophie tr inspired and she did this one of me that's my naked body can you see my toes uh loving life is it narcissistic to have a naked painting of yourself in your room i don't think so but where do i put it to like give it what it deserves i did say when we moved into the girls i was like they should both get one and we could just put it in the living room and be like that's us that's we are sexy you know uh, where does one put a naked photo of themselves a naked painting of themselves i also got this from Desenio. I think this is super, super cute, like party vibes. I just literally have nowhere to put it, like nowhere to hang it. This room is very limited space. Also, my mum got me this one. If you can love yourself, how on the hell are you gonna love somebody else? Can I get an amen? Bit of RuPaul. We just love to see the quotes. And then also my best friend Meg painted this for me. Can you believe that? It's so gorgeous. So it's such a shame I have so much art and nowhere to put it. But I'm just going to save everything I love. And then if I ever move into my own house, we can just decorate it with all this pretty stuff. So yeah, that was my room tour. What do you think of it? Thanks for coming and hanging out with me today. Um, let me know what you think of my room. Like it is to me. I love it. It's my safe space, but it is just fucking crazy. Um, and yeah, thanks so much for watching this. Have a lovely week. I'll see you guys very very soon also i'll link anything if you want it